Salutations, my fellow dandies. It's me, Jack Dandy, and today we are doing something uh, a little bit different. Um, it is... It's a little bit loud. Let's just... There we go. There we go. Salutations, salutations to everyone. Salutations, bride. Salutations, perspective. Glad to hear you're both dandy, except your cats, who are both grumpy about uh, the nail clipping. That's, that's what we were talking about in the pre pre stream. Um, that's something I got. So that's something I got to look forward to when I get a cat, I guess. Uh, yeah, salutations. We are doing something a little bit different today. Uh, so I this is something that I've kind of had to, uh, planned for a little while because. Uh, I was just like, I want to. Sonic's birthday is June twenty third, every year. That's the that's the release date of Sonic One, June twenty third, nineteen ninety one, and Sonic is thirty three this year. Um, not an a particularly eventful date, but okay. I thought this was. I, I forget that occasionally the songs on this channel have. Uh, this is the Lo Fi Sonic stream I'm listening to. That uh, I forget occasionally does have music with. Or with dial with uh, vocals, it's mostly instrumental though. Um, sweet sounds of Jack and Super Cat. I've got to sit with me again. That's uh, that's just the the velvety smoothness of my of yeah, my voice. Um, so you're welcome. You're welcome. But yeah, as I said, uh, so Sonic's birthday is on Sunday, and uh, I thought I've got some time off work. Well, I've got annual leave to use up, and I'm not taking a holiday this year because I am uh, still paying for my house. So uh, I took a week off, and I decided to set myself a challenge uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, I yeah, so I decided to speed run Sonic 2, um, but only with a week's worth of practice. Now, I have never sp speed ran. I've never done a speed run. Uh, I don't know what the vernacular is. I, d I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know the crypt term. I've never speed run again, but ran a game before. I've never wanted to. I don't think I will enjoy this. I, um, I, I don't, I'm not looking forward to this, honestly. It was, uh, it was something that I sort of decided. And the closer it got, I went, oh, I should bail. I, sh I should bail. I don't want to do this. And I was like, no. If I do this, it's a rod in my back, and it will force me to do it, and then I'll do it. And then even if I don't enjoy it, at least I can say I did it. So that's the that's the plan. The, the, this, well, this is the plan. Um, I am going to today. We, I'm going to play through Sonic 2. I've done no practice. Um, I've done no. I haven't looked up any speedrun techniques or anything. We're just going to play through Sonic 2. I'm going to try and do it as fast as I can with no prior um, learning. Um, to set a baseline, to see how fast I can do it with like absolutely zero training. Then during the week, I will practice. I will practice as much as I can be bothered to practice. And then on Sunday, I will stream for as long as I can be bothered uh, doing runs. And we will see how quick I can play Sonic 2 after a week of practice. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know if it's speed run or speed run. If it's always speed run, or you just do a speed run. If you, if, you, if you can even past tense it. I don't know. Anyway, so there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this. First of all, I really like Sonic 2. Sonic 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, if not my favorite game of all time. It kind of alternates between Sonic 2 and Final Fantasy 7. They're kind of the two games that I like point at as the, like two of the games that kind of got me into gaming. Like, Sonic 2 got me into gaming, and then Final Fantasy VII was the one that made me go, oh yeah, games that you, you could do think you can tell stories with games, this is great. Um, so I, 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 I hold the game in very high regard. I'm terrible at it. Um, I have streamed Sonic 2 a couple of times on this channel. I streamed the original Sonic 2 on uh, Xbox 360 to kind of get the achievements. It took like four or five hours. Um, I, I streamed Sonic 2 again when Sonic Origins came out. And then I streamed it again when they add, last year when they added Amy to the game. Um, 
So I've had a bit of pra recent practice compared to when I first streamed it three, year three years ago, and it took me ages. Part of the reason it took me ages is because I was trying to get the Chaos Emeralds as well. Uh, we're not doing that, so, but I'll go into that when we start talking about the actual categories. Do you know how fast the world record is? I do. We'll, 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 look, at the, we'll, we'll look at the world record stuff in the second. Um, so I've, I have done some research, because I was like, like am, I, am, am I setting myself up for failure here? And the answer is yes. I am definitely not going to be number one. Um, but I think I could, I can get, I genuinely think I could maybe get a pretty decent time. Maybe. It really depends. This could, at the very worst, I'll be at the bottom of the leaderboard. But that will still be, I'm like, you know, 60th. There's not that many people on the leaderboard, as it turns out. Um, but yeah, the other reason I wanted to do this is because I... Number one in our hearts. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Casino Night is the challenge. I think Oil Ocean... I think I, I, I think all of the later levels have got different problems, but Oil Ocean was always the one that so slowed me down. Uh, and I know there are some tricks with Oil Ocean where you can, like, go under the... You have to go, like, you go under the oil, but I don't exactly know how you do it. So, um... Looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, so I mean, one of the, one of the reasons I did want to do this is because I work in an office, and occasionally what happens when you do it, I work in an office, is you have to do icebreakers when you do training or when new people join the team, and it's you know, there's a sort of like learning about you kind of thing, and you know, and they do things like. Uh, tell us one thing that you're proud of, or they do one truth, two lies, and you have to have an interesting fact about yourself. And um, I always struggle to think of an interesting fact that I think that my office workers will, like, get. Or that I'm not, like, you know, I, I, that I actually want to tell people at work. And so it's like, okay, I think being one of the fastest people in the world, technically, at Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I think that's something, something that, like, translates universally. Like, everyone knows who Sonic is, and everyone knows, like, kind of, that people play games quickly. So, I, I figured, you know, I could, I, I, having that as a fact about myself, that I am the X num fastest person in the world at Sonic 2, is a pretty good icebreaker, you know. Um, so that's, that's, that's part of it. Um, the other part is just like I said, I like Sonic 2, and I want to do something to, you know, s cement my love for Sonic 2. And Final Fantasy 7 is too long for speedrun, so we're speedrunning Sonic 2 instead. Uh, so like I said, I have looked into this a little bit. So there are... Uh, hang on, let me shunt along over here a little bit. That should do it. Uh... There we go. So, these are... Hang on, I can get this bigger. I'll just scoot you over here. There we go. Uh, these are the... This is the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 leaderboard on speedrun.com. Um, I want to do something that will kill my love for Sonic 2. <laughs> I mean, it may just. I... I can't see me wanting to play Sonic 2 for a very long time after this week. Let's put it that way, if if all goes to plan. Uh, but yeah, so this is this is the um, the leaderboard for Sonic 2. There are three categories for Sonic 2. There's beat the game, which is uh, any basically doing it any way possible. Uh, that includes glitching. Uh, there's there's rules for that. There's glitchless, and there's all chaos emeralds. I'm doing a glitchless run. Um, because... Oh, hang on. There you go. Uh, I'm doing a glitchless run because... Uh, Sonic, from what I have kind of uh, interpreted, is that Sonic the Hedgehog glitches are kind of finicky. Um, and they're actually quite difficult. It's actually quite a hard game to speed run because some of the glitches are like really pixel perfect and getting them all kind of to pull off in the exact order is difficult. Um, so... Oh, mouth's all dry. Um, I don't want to do that. Le I think learning how to do... 
Yeah, glitch. Well, it, yeah, glitch tech is generally pretty difficult. I figure, and there's not there's not honestly a huge amount of time difference. Like you look at the top score. The top score is 21 minutes 14 uh, in glitchless, and then the um, the top score in beat the game is 17 minutes 42. It's the same guy. It's this Yandis, who's a Russian player. Um, so it's not a huge amount of difference doing glitches. He's having like four minutes on the run. But also, I just feel like glitchless is, I don't know, a bit more fun to watch rather than watch me try and, like, stand on the edge of a platform as I get another platform to push me through the geometry. Um, don't get me wrong. I, when, when it, I think glitched runs, when they're done competently, are quite interesting. I just don't think I would be interesting. So I think I'll just try and do a glitchless run. And we're doing no Chaos Emeralds because Chaos Emeralds add, like, like half an hour to the run like yeah th well 35 minutes i mean there's less competition to be fair um but i don't want to do the special stages <laughs> i should i'm really bad at the sonic 2 special stages i can do them eventually uh probably but yeah no so we're just gonna do a glitchless run um i have checked all the rules and everything and i should be compliant with the version of sonic that i'm using so the rules generally are, um, yeah, uh, video and audio must be fully continuous. So I ha I, streaming this does make this a lot easier because I'm genuinely worried that I'll set like a reasonably good time and then my run will be disallowed because I've ballsed up some speed run streaming requirement. But I think it's okay. I think I think I think I've set up. Uh, I've got. I'm using the. Uh, Kega Fusion emulator, which is one of the uh, allowed emulators, and I've got the FPS and text on it. It says I only need one, but I figure I'll put both of them on, then there's no room for error. Um, I have to be careful about clicking out of the emulator, so whilst I'm doing a run on Sunday, I have, well, I'm doing the run today, I'm gonna be, it's going to be troubled, I can't click out to do anything, otherwise the run is... I mean, to be fair, it doesn't really matter with this run. I'm not going to submit this run. This run is just for my own kind of baseline. So I guess it doesn't really matter if I balls this one up, but... Um... And then the category rules are... You can play as Sonic and Tails, Sonic or Tails. I'm going to be playing as Sonic and Tails, because that's just how I always play Sonic 2. Uh, I have no input on the second controller, which is fine, I have one controller turned on. Um... I use Fusion. I think Fu Fusion and Retroarch seem to be like the two to go for for like early Mega Dr early Sega stuff. And Retroarch, Retroarch, I get I, I get come go comes up quite a lot when I try and do stuff. And I I've had mixed results with it. I just can't get it to work sometimes. Um, but I, I think I use it. I think I've had to use it for no. I I tried to use it for Sega Saturn and it couldn't get it to work. And I eventually found a different mod, a different uh, emulator that worked. Uh, so the rules have actually very recently changed. When I first looked this up at the beginning of the year, there were different rules. And the the, uh, the community agreed to change the rules. So they used to do... Um, they used to do it based on in-game time. So you could... So that's the time at the end of each level that it says that you took for each level. It's the combined total of the in-game time. What that meant, though, is that people could pause a lot and that time then wouldn't count. Um, they, they could pause a lot and they'd still get a good, good time. And pausing a lot lets you do like more frame perfect stuff. Uh, and it basically makes it a lot easier to do some of the more difficult techniques. It's also not very fun to watch because it's kind of annoying. I watched, I, I did watch just, uh, just for a frame of reference, a a uh, old record on a uh, one level and they were pausing all the time and it's so annoying <laughs> so it's i can't pause uh, it's, it, it's it i can pause but it's um it's total time so pausing will add i can't doesn't stop the timer so that i'm not that i'm i'm incentivized to not pause let's put it that way um so yeah, pausing is indicated with the pausing variable. Please select whether your run has pauses when submitting. So I have to, yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm just gonna not pause. Uh, beat the game without using a glitch. Any use of level select, any use of save state is not allowed. No level wrapping, camera wrapping. I don't even know what these are. No zipping, no slope glitch, no aquatic ruins boss glitch. Skipping the plunger 
in Casino Night 2, aka Loosekeep is allowed as no terrain is clipped. I don't know what that is, I will learn. No supersonic glitch, I'm not getting the Chaos Emeralds. No pausing to load bosses faster, I guess that's also a thing. Uh, yeah, intentionally clipping through things. I can, if I clip through something accidentally and it doesn't save time, it's okay. So, um, yeah, I just have to be careful. If something clips accidentally, I need to be, um, and the end, they got like specific clip. Uh, I mean, this is stuff we don't really need to worry about. Oh, also this uses, uh, so I think called RTA TBC, which is real time attack minus time bonus and continues. So at the end of each level of Sonic, you get a summary of your score. And if you've done really well, you get extra lives and you get extra continues. Uh, but obviously that takes up extra time because it does the little jingle every time you unlock that stuff. So what, what they've agreed is rather than try, rather than penalize people who do the game too well and trigger those, if you do get like those time bonuses and things, they're deducted from your time. I don't know how to deduct that time myself. Um, there are like uh, scripts you can use to do that. I couldn't figure out how to get them to work. I will try and figure out how to get them to work by Sunday, but if not, I'll just have to do it manually after the fact, which uh, I, I think is allowed. Because um, yeah, it does say if you're not comfortable adding either timing method to your submission, submit what you have and a moderator will fix it. Uh, so. I, I can I can I can figure it out basically uh, after the fact so I'll have I'll maybe have like a, a, a reasonable idea uh, of how well I've done at the time but it won't be until kind of afterwards when I've looked at it properly that I'll know for definite they never thought that an A-level maths no no speedrunning I don't even know I mean it must have been a thing when I was growing up but it wouldn't have been it would have been just something that people did in their own, f for fun on their own. And there wouldn't have been a leaderboard or an online... I mean, I guess... I guess What's His Chops did those Pac-Man stuff in the 80s with like the Guinness World Records and things. Yeah, I guess... Um, I can't remember what his name is. The one who keeps getting disqualified for cheating. Um, keeps getting disqualified and then not disqualified and then disqualified again and then not disqualified. Um, yeah, Billy, uh, Billy, 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 not Billy Mays, that's the, um, ShamWow guy, or whatever his name is. Billy Mays here, like that guy. Uh, Billy, uh, Mitchell, Billy Mitchell. That was it. Yeah, he faked the yeah, cool. That was more high score type stuff. Oh yeah, no, I guess, I guess, yeah, it was high score rather than doing it quickly. Speedrunning, I think, came much later in the internet era. Yeah, no, you're actually, you're right. Yeah, it was high scores rather than speedrunning. I suppose because you had to capture the footage, and it wasn't, it was really hard to capture footage until, like, the... Well, I guess PC, I guess on PC you probably could capture your footage all right. It was difficult to capture console. Anyway, we're going down a rabbit hole here that's, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, that's kind of, you know, that's... That's the category. That's what we're sort of aiming for here. This is the table. There aren't actually that many people on the, ta on the table. I guess, I don't, I don't know why, there just aren't the only people who have submitted speedruns. There are 58 people currently on the Sonic 2 speedrun in the glitches category. So all I need to do, I mean, this, this the, 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 the bottom time is 59 minutes and 43 seconds. So at the very worst, even if I end up taking, you know, I can't manage to do it in under an hour, I'll still be the 59th fastest person in the world. So that's kind of, you know, that's something. Um, it's not as, it's not, I mean, I would like to do better than that, but you know, <laughs> that's that's the bare minimum. Um, Captain showing long form videos pretty hard until like 15 years ago. Yeah, I guess you had, you had Fraps on PC, but you still had to have a good enough PC to actually run Fraps and the game that you were recording, otherwise it all just went into a slideshow. Um, and then yeah, it wasn't really until sort of Algato got on the scene and started selling the capture cards. But even then, they were, they were like hundred. I mean, they were expensive. Um, I mean, I bought uh, a HD. I think it was just called the HD. Yeah, back in like 2014. I think it was like 150 quid, which is you know quite a bit of money. Um, 
I mean, they are still around that price, but they do a lot more now. Anyway, that, that, yeah. Point is, speedrunning. Um, so I, I, I feel like, I don't know, top 25 is like, I, I, I think like, I don't know. This is the thing, because I'm going in this completely blind. I just genuinely don't know how good these times are. I have zero frame of reference. Obviously, I know that 21 minutes and 14 seconds is as good as it gets in terms of time. Um, and then 59 minutes and 43 seconds is somewhere away from that. Uh, I mean, most people seem to be about half an hour, around the sort of half hour mark for their run, for the for, uh, for time. So I feel like that's the kind of level to aim for. Um, but what I thought I'd do as well is I thought I would come up, I say I'd come up with them. I thought I would, we would come up with uh, punishments for, we would set up certain goals and then we would have set up punishments for me not reaching those goals. Um, we don't have to come up with them all today. We can, we've got a week, we can, we, can, we can set them in, we can lock them in on Sunday before I actually start properly. But things like get on the leaderboard, get in the top 50, get in the top 40, get in the top 30, get in the top 20, get in the top 10. I think, I, I genuinely don't think I'm gonna get in the top 10. Um, but, you know, I feel like anything, anything more than that would be uh, wildly optimistic and just completely beyond my ability. But putting getting the top 10 would make me the fastest Englishman on the board. Um, I think a top 10, you don't get a punishment. At that point, we owe you a reward. Uh, and yes, I, no, I'm not playing that game, Briar, so don't even bother wasting it the, the suggestion. I blocked that name, that game name for a reason. We all, I, I, if, if you want me to replay that game, I would just restream the VOD that I played originally and just pretend I'm doing it for the first time. I would just literally just rerun the VOD and just be like, there's, there's the Saturday stream for you. You can just rewatch the me play it the last time. I would. I absolutely would. I hate I don't want to play that game again. Um, but I but you know, that's so, something like that, like playing like a rage game. You know, like playing something like I don't know, Jump King or Bennett Foddy or I Am Fish or a difficult game about climbing, something like that. That's the kind of level. Um, I don't really want to do like I don't really want to do anything like eat like a spicy pepper or something because that might kill me. But like I said, <laughs> we're not going to lock anything in it. We're not looking at anything now. Have a think. We'll decide on Sunday what the punishments are. Um, we'll decide what the punishments are before I start on Sunday. So you've got you've got a week to stew on it. I'll put a post on Twitter as well, and uh, we'll we'll put our heads together and try and. <laughs> Try and give me some good motivation to actually do this. Because, you know, if it's stuff that I actually, like, genuinely don't want to do, I will be like, I gotta keep going because I don't want to do this. My deadline will be midnight on Sunday because that's when it stops being Sonic's birthday. Um, so. Yeah. That's, um, I think I've, I think I've, uh, you know, rambled on and done Nitro kind of long enough now. Um, was there anything else I needed to mention? Uh, nope. Nope, I think we're good. Um, so. I, my original plan, uh, by the way, was I was going to, this was gonna be the whole week. The whole week was going to be me streaming Sonic 2. I was going to stream it every night this week. Like maybe take a break on Friday and then do practice it, do runs all day Saturday and Sunday. And then I got closer and I thought, that sounds miserable. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, plus, like, I'm still behind on Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I, need, I still need to get Final Fantasy XIV done before um, Dawn Trail comes out. And, you know, there's others. I want to play, I want to finish Pseudo Regalia. And, 
yeah, we, we got other stuff to do. So instead, I will be pl I will be playing Sonic 2 in my own time. Um, why would for 14 exist? Well, exactly. This is it. I, I will play for Sonic 2 in my own time, and I will practice, and then I, then I can kind of like really kind of like silently sit there and actually absorb the information from. Uh, you know, speedrun videos and strats and things like that. Uh, yeah. So. I don't think I've, I think I've, I think I've procrastinated long enough. I think we just have to start playing. Um, I have I have brought a friend along because I'm going to be focusing on um, I'm going to be focusing on gaming. So. Uh, I, he hasn't activated yet, so don't try and do anything. Um. There we go. Now I have to. I've got, <laughs> I've got six programs open at the same time. Um, I, I'm really glad that Sonic Two is quite a low, uh, <laughs> you know low energy, the, 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 you know, low graphics consumption game, because I, I might, I might computer would probably struggle if I tried to do anything more than this. Uh, but yes, we have, we have our boy Tails with us. Uh, and so as usual, uh, let me activate him. Uh, da, 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 it's connecting. There we go. He should be active now. Let me just say, Hello to him, make sure he's working. Hi Tails, we are live on Twitch and I am about to uh, do a first attempt at speedrunning Sonic 2. Are you excited? It's quite cosy having them in, the, like, in my room with me, sat next to me. So I just feel a bit distant when we're sort of sat on different sides of the room, uh, different sides of the screen. But now it's like Tails is like... Oh, great! Another speed run! Because nothing says excitement like watching the same game get played over and over again. Don't get me wrong, it's a masterpiece! I'm in it after all! But boy, I sure do love having my genius underappreciated in the name of speed. Now, if you excuse me, I have complex equations to solve and intricate machines to build. Oh, and before we start, remember to focus on collecting as many rings as you can early on. It's not just about speed, you know. The rings will help you survive unexpected hits. But I guess that's too much of a strategic approach for a speed run, huh? I mean, I, I guess I appreciate the advice, but I agree that yes, getting rings isn't actually that helpful in a speed run. I mean, as you were saying, it will keep you alive if I balls up, and I will balls up. Um, I do like the library. This is my study. This is where I. This is where I stream. This is. This is just a photo of the room that I stream in. You know, this is. This is what my flat looks like. Um, ignore that I've. Used, I've been in here since before I bought my flat. I move. I, I moved all the furnishings. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tails. Uh, I, I do, I do a little agree with you that uh, yeah, speedrunning isn't that interesting to watch because it's just doing the same thing over and over again. But you know, some people are into it, and uh, that's why I've brought you along to to entertain people. So you can, as always, you can talk to Tails with channel points. Um, there's a one minute cooldown, and yeah, Tails will Tails will keep things interesting, I guess. Confused Briar says, "So Tails." I asked every single one of your friends, and none of them know how many buttholes you have. Shadow cried over his dead girlfriend. They all did, though agree you are literally the worst. The worst. So bad. Getting the butthole question in early. It's good to get it out of the way. It opens us up to, uh... I don't know, to... That's what about opening things up. When ah, has confused buttholes. Friar. Let me guess, you've been chatting with fan fiction characters, have you? Shadow crying over his dead girlfriend? That's not canon, buddy. Stick to the official games, please. It saves us all from these horrific examples of, well, and I use this term did. lightly, storytelling. As for being the worst, sure, I get it. It must be so difficult seeing someone with my intellect outsmarting the world while you're typing in a Twitch chat. 
and about that oh, bizarre fun. fixation of yours on my personal anatomy. Just know, let's keep things above board and professional, shall we? You got burned by tails. <laughs> All right, let's get cracking. Uh, right, I have to... I think I can have custom music when I'm when you when you stream Twitch dub. I guess to be fair, it wouldn't actually matter if I did it. But I don't know. It's quite nice. It's quite nice to have the the actual music and sound effects, isn't it? It's it's you know it's it's nice. Um, right. Hopefully this. Okay, we're good. By the way, this 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 menu is like the most like impatient menu in any game ever. Like it it literally Sonic comes out, Tails comes out, the the menu comes up, you got one, two, three, four, five, and then it cuts into a gameplay. It's like it, could could you not sit on the on <laughs> the title screen for like longer than five seconds, genuinely. Look, here's, how, here's this is this is a preview of how I'm gonna. Actually, that's not gonna do. That's this. This is really slow. What are you doing, Demo Sonic? I mean, actually, that's probably that probably is how I'm gonna do it. Um, I guess I go into the options. Um. Ah, oh, this music takes me back. I can turn this, this is quite low, but it's still quite loud as well. Let me... There we go. Alright. Uh... I, 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 you know, I've put it off as long as I can. I think we just have to get get cracking. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be my baseline attempt, just to set a standard. There's a there's a very real chance that I will fail and die and <laughs> not actually finish the game. Um, but you know we'll 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 go with that. Oh, that's that. You, you can't go back to the main menu from the options menu, as it turns out. That's fine. We will uh, hard reset. So I think you can get like code to make this do it automatically, but I'm having to press a button. As, uh... Not great. I, I, you know, I, I did used to know how to do the Emerald Hills like, really quick, because there's an achievement for it on the 360. This isn't the way to do it. I've got, you need to go over the... It's basically, you need to go completely over the top. Uh, section. I think even getting the speed boots. Right. Okay. Well, we've got a. We've got a. We've got a. We've got a baseline. Uh, Thirty-seven seconds. I think I've. Confused. Briar says. Look here, you twin-tailed midget. What have you done? Oh right. You pilot the biplane while Sonic does all the hard work. You sit in your shop while Sonic saves your friend. Amy would be a better companion for Sonic. At least she has a hammer. I don't know that having a hammer is necessarily a qualifier for being a better sidekick, but I bet I bet it, Tails has a hammer. You know, he probably uses it to well, like. Well, confused, Briar. If it isn't for my genius and sitting in my shop, Sonic wouldn't even have a plane to travel in, let alone save the day. Do you even realize how much engineering prowess it takes okay. to make a biplane? Of course not. Amy, a better companion with her hammer. Funny, because the last time I checked, smashing things with a hammer isn't exactly the pinnacle of sophistication or strategy, is it? At least my dual uh, tail serve a purpose. 
And oh, the joy of using brilliant minds like mine for thankless, backbreaking work. It's just so fulfilling. I'm literally the backbone of our operations, but sure, Amy with her hammer, that's the real game changer. You can do that boss really, really quickly if you position yourself like at the exact right point and spin dash, I think. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't seem too happy with the... Uh... Oh, where did I get my bros out? Oh, is it because I'm... I, I did set it originally when I was, uh, at least tried to set it originally, um, so that it would... Oh, hang on. Uh, I did so that I could do it with the triggers on the, um, controller, but I couldn't get it to do it. Ah, that's not good. That's worse. I, I couldn't get the triggers to work whilst I was in the game, because it's like... The, the the speed run thing, which is called something, um, wouldn't just wouldn't recognise it unless I was clicked onto it. But of course, I need to be clicked onto the game. I don't know why I'm getting the ring because I'm going to be going fast. I need to go quick. There's no time for rings. Oh okay. yeah. I feel it feels just so so slow. Oh, I, I've not got it set up. I can't fix it now, obviously. I've not got it set up to show. The um no uh to show the uh time for each level, it's just got the total time. But that's fine. I mean you'll you'll know how how close I am to the, the world record. It's muscle memory, so I'm using rings meant for rings. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's just weird like to not collect rings. Especially again, because the last couple of times I played this, I was, um, I was trying to get all the Chaos Emeralds, so I was trying to get, constantly trying to get 50 rings. Ah, damn it. That's Tails Death number one. Yeah, I hate this part of the level as well because it's uh, it, it requires a bit more patience than I can I can muster. There is, a, I, I'm pretty sure there is a way to completely skip this section. I just when missed both the start and Briar harassing tails. What was? Oh, you missed. He wasn't Briar harassing tails. It was tails harassing Briar. He 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 he, he burned good. I, I forget what he said last time, other than just that he he took uh, umbrage to the suggestion that he uh, that Amy was a better a better side. Damn it! I always kill myself on this level. <sighs> God damn it! Every single goddamn time I play this game, I always kill myself because I go too far over to the right. Okay, well this is bad. I actually can't see how many lives I've got because of the frame rate. Um, normally, in a speed run, you don't need to worry about that.
Okay, again, this boss is like super easy. It just takes like a tiny bit of patience and it's counterintuitive to go fast, go fast, run, 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 run. I know one of your problem levels early. <laughs> this, this this level, like, it, 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 I mean, like I said, well, let's wait till we get to Oil Ocean. <sighs> I'm not a big fan of Aquatic Ruin, but I think at least you can get through this one quite quickly. If... Like, the first half of the game is you can get through it in... You can get through very, very quickly. Um, it's it's really the the second half, and then I mean le the the death egg is really gonna. The Death Egg is really going to be what is going to... Yeah, I mean, I'd, I might need to save state before the Death Egg, just for the sake of doing it. See, like this? Yeah, under a minute. Almost all of these are just stay on the top route. Um, it, and that's how you do it quickly. Don't fall down into the water like an idiot. Like that. Because now I've got... now Because now you move slower, and I can drown. And there's arrows. Uh... Uh... Bubble, bubble, bubble! Aww... Well... That's a game over. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many continues I've got. Less like butter. What I did there is I took an arrow up the ass. Oh man, I. Some of these levels, I really, really hope you could just skip completely. It's just like, oh yeah, yeah, if you just do. Oh god, that almost killed me. If you just do this. You know, if you hit this particular platform in this particular way, you can basically bypass 80% of the level. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, hey! I need this! Alright, it may be maybe not the quickest way, but uh, the ne necessary. I need to, okay, I need to get off the pillar. <laughs> that, that used to work. It... Come on, what the hell? 
I, okay, I guess the arrow is death. And t can I get? Can I go back and get a ring? Uh, it's, again, it's not. It's not the speediest, but I feel like I need one. So even if you stand on the the the, the shaft of the arrow, it's it's death until. This is the way to do it. I mean, there's probably a better way of doing it. Whatever. He's dead. Good enough. <sighs> Confused Briar says... Tails, Jack needs help. He's fighting Robotnik and he's using lightning attacks with loud thunder. So loud it's threatening to break windows. Any suggestions? Da, 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 da. Oh. See, that was a clip. Like, I clipped through the, the geometry there, but I don't think it... I think it would have been fine because it didn't... I, I don't know. That might... That, that clip right there might have voided the entire run. In between your attempts to disparage me, Confused Briar, at least you're asking for help. That's a start. Here's my advice for Jack and his predicament with Robotnik. Stay close to the edges when Robotnik starts his lightning attacks. The center is often his main target. Also, it might be smart to take your speed into consideration. Robotnik's machines have a response time. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the two-tailed genius who's always left in the dust while Sonic takes all the credit. It's not like I ever outsmarted Robotnik countless times or anything. Dealing with gigantic, life-threatening robots on a daily basis? Just another day in the life of an underappreciated sidekick. I'm sure you know the feeling, right? Hold that thought. You're a Twitch chat. No, you don't. <laughs> he really hates you guys. I mean, you're giving him reasons to hate him. Uh, you know, giving you, he's gi you're giving him reasons for him to hate you. But I think he just hates the idea that you're watching Twitch. Why am I over here? I think he just he just despises you as a concept. Dang it. I need to... Alright. Drift slightly, and then over to the right. Nope. There we go. No, I don't need rings. And I'll take invincibility though. Oh, this is No, come. It's really hard to not clip through the uh through the bumpers. Like just go just go down. I'm sure it's quicker to go up and across, but just just do what we can for now. There we go. Okay, this is like, reasonable, I guess. I don't know. I've done nothing while we're getting burned here. Yeah, Brain Briar. They went in strong, and uh, Tails has it's it's set the set the mood for the entire rest of the stream. I fear. Now officially taking too long. We're going underneath. Can I? No, that's not good enough. All right, again, it's officially taking too long. We're going down. Like, I know the, the quickest way is to go across the top levels, but unless you know what you're doing, it's not. No, don't, don't go in the jackpot. The Briar says, isn't Jack who you should be angry at? He programmed you. Okay. He made you hate yourself. He had the power to make you happy, Tails. He wanted you like this. I mean, I got a jackpot and two extra lives, so I'll take it. Again, not, not super useful for the speed run, but... Now we'll need those lives later on.
I actually, by the way, made this version of Tails slightly less depressed than normal. Oh, I confused, think. Briar. You're such a philosopher. Or you'd like to think so, I bet. Sure, blame Jack for my programming. Make it all about someone else's fault. That's the easy way out, right? Well, let me share a little secret with you. The world isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Not for me, not for anyone. You think being a genius is a blessing? Try being the only one around who can fix the intricate machinery that keeps this world going and barely get recognized for it. And now, because of this almighty Jack, who's apparently responsible for everything, I'm supposed to be angry at him? No, I'm not the one you should be worried about. But hey, you folks just keep enjoying your blissfully ignorant little world while the undervalued and overlooked like me handle the actual brain work. Ain't life grand? Okay, now I take it back. He's still... Oh, fuck you, Robotnik. <laughs> He's still uh, just as miserable as always. I, th I think he's angrier though. He was. He was. I think he was more pathetic before. I, I hate this boss. It's so annoying to. Again, I'm sure there's a like sneaky fast way to get on top, but ah, uh, it's so easy to get hit and then so easy to lose your rings once you've gotten uh, to like not be able to get your rings back once you get hit. Uh, do you know, I I just thought of a really fun character thing, and I can't I can't program it in now because you know we're in the middle of something. But I <laughs> may do it for next time. I thought of a fun trait to give him. Uh, these stages of griefing. <laughs> do we, it's stages of griefing, but just over his existence. Solid start. I think you can jump that. I don't think you have to wait for the. Regret Perspective says, Tails, I'm sorry about Confused Briar. He's going through some things and lashing out. I appreciate you and hope you can get some of the burden of the world off your shoulders. Oh, there's got to be some great tricks to. To, like get through this oh regret respective your sympathy is truly touching but you know what they say about good intentions right now instead of this pointless chatter how about we actually do something about that world destroying megalomaniac eggman hmm working or are on we it just going to keep pretending the world isn't on the brink of disaster every other day your work... advice comes from a good place but how exactly do i get the world's burden off my shoulders Stop inventing things that save everyone's tails. All the time? Just sit back and watch as people can't figure out basic machinery? Yeah, that really sounds like a vacation. The irony is almost palpable, uh -oh. trust me. Thanks for the appreciation, though. Really makes all the difference in the daily grind of the imminent apocalypse. I don't... I... I didn't program anything about doom and gloom like the world's ending. That's just something he's decided to be concerned about. Damn it! Should have got one of the rings. Did I get a? Did I get? No, I didn't. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Pure top of the zone, going, going strong. Regret Respective says, "What is your favorite pun?" Oh, he's, he's too clever for puns. He's going to say how it's... That's a Twitch chat thing. He's like, oh, I'm too... I, my, I've got 300 IQ or something. I haven't got time for puns. Ah, the small comforts in life. You'd think a two-tailed fox who's constantly belittled might not enjoy a good pun. But to lighten the mood of impending doom, let's see. How about this one? I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. Quite apt, don't you think? It perfectly summarizes how expectations That's tend to fall on someone who's always depended on, like me. At first, you aren't too sure about it, but then, just like a persistent beard, it's always there. Always. Just growing and growing. Oh, the joys of forced adaptation Damn, and endless demand. Spring. Into puns now, are we? Is there any depth to which we won't stoop to avoid facing the harsh realities? Hmm. 
Wait, hang on. <laughs> I I zoned out for a second there because the, the spring betrayed me. He, he seemed to be into puns and then turned against them. I, what do I do? Okay, the lava's going back down again. He, he seemed all, he seemed, you know, he was all there for the puns for like a second. And then he was like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> Jack of Ribbon, how's that not bad? You'd boo if I said that. I, 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 have, a, I have a lower bar for the AIs because most of their puns are gibberish. Like, a lot of the time they just struggle to actually do a pun. So the fact that that was an actual working pun, he gets points for, okay? You know, I ho uh, excuse me if I hold you to a slightly higher standard than ChatGPT. The thing is, I remember some of this stuff from being stuck on it from when I streamed. Ah. See, I remember there's a crisscross there, because I remember the first time I streamed this, Tails dropped down and uh, landed on the. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm scratching my arm. Landed on the gondola and. Uh, meant that I had nothing to jump onto. Confused Briar says, you're smart enough to invent this stuff. Just leave. Like, you know they use you. None of them like you. Jack doesn't like you. Surely you can invent a portal somewhere like new tales. and just live your life. Damn. I like tails. No, I know I don't. No, never mind. I forgot. I like this tails. I don't. I don't like tails generally. <laughs> ah, confused, Briar. Back again with your so insightful solutions. Just invent a portal and leave, huh? Because apparently, quitting on friends, even when they're underappreciating you, is the right thing to do. Well, let me tell you something. It's not as easy when you actually care. Ever hear of the phrase, you can't choose your family? That's Sonic and the gang to me. Yeah, they can get on my nerves, but that doesn't mean I give up and leave. And Jack? Well, the less we speak about him, the better. Hey. This isn't about being smart enough, friend. It's about something you clearly don't have a grasp on. Loyalty and responsibility. So, oh, spare man. me with your easy outs, and let's focus on something productive, like keeping our multi-dimensional reality intact, okay? Tails really let you have it. Uh, he used to say, you got, you got no principles. I might be depressed and disliked and misunderstood, but I've got principles, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. I know what you do there. You jump on top of it and then spin dash across, but I couldn't I, I couldn't stop myself from rolling. Oh, I was actually doing quite good then. I mean not like good in like an actual oh come on in like an actual uh, category you know good for me I hadn't died and I was doing it you know, reasonably quickly da, 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 da. 
Man, that would have been the end of the level as well. Toxic principles. You can't choose friendly, so narcissistic Pared will be so. Yes. Well, I mean, to be fair, Tails' family isn't actually his family. Like we, as far as we know, he doesn't have any family. They they disowned him. Sonic and that were his found family. I hate this level so much as a kid. I there's one particular part of this level that I hate because normally I'd have supersonic at this point when I was playing it, and it's this bit here, you drop down there as supersonic, and you just have to sit there. Ah, oh, I thought I could damage boost through that. Oh, and no continues left. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was that was that was my baseline attempt. Uh, I, I, I guess we go again. <laughs> I, uh. I mean, okay, I guess. I guess we go again. Um, oh, I got, I got. I'm using numpad to control the timer, and um, it's the problem is it's all the numpad also controls like my clothes. So instead, I've got to take my jacket off now. You finished the game in that time. You're done middle of the board. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's like I don't think it's like I only had what oil ocean. Yeah, I only had another. I only had like five level, four levels left, and then the death egg. Um, I've never seen no jacket. Honest for me. Yeah, I don't like this one very much. I don't know why. I just, I, I, it's the waistcoat. It doesn't. I don't like how it looks, so I don't use it that frequently. I do use it occasionally, but um, yeah, this is the one I use the least because I don't like the waistcoat. It, how, I, it's too narrow on the shoulders, and it's too late to fix it now. So. Uh, fuck, okay. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I was up for a, you know, a okay time. I would have, I would have, I would have placed. But yeah, I do need to not die. Um. Ooh, boom, to tish, boom, but to tish. Thank you. I think it's GTA app, that was my first dandy experience. Oh, man. I haven't done a crime time in a while. I just, I don't want to play, I don't want, I don't, I, want, I, I do want to do a GTA 5 roleplay stream, but I'm also worried that, like, GTA 5 is quite graphically intensive. I'm worried it's going to, like, tank my PC. I guess I could try it. Maybe just have to sort of, I don't know, go no model and cut everything else down to, like, the absolute minimum. I like the low poly one from the last room, which is the time. Yeah, I like the low poly one as well. I, I'd, I'd, I should use it more often. Um, I, I generally use it just for playing older games. I, you know, I could be play, I could use it today, but if you don't make top twenty, play the original top down GTA. Yeah, I could do that, or I could do GTA London. That would be more thematically appropriate. Both of them. All right, we'll, we'll we'll put that as a. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lock in punishments. Um, I'm not gonna lock in punishments for particular things yet. Uh, like you know, not top twenty. What I'll do is I'll make a list of punishments and then decide which ones I want to do least and which ones I want to do most. And the ones I want to do least will be the ones which are hardest for me to will be harder for me to knock off. So. Cause I'd quite, I'd quite happily play the original GTA. It's been, GTA was, um, again, one of the games, I have very fond memories of playing the original Grand Theft Auto on my cousin's PlayStation 
in the little cubby under my grandfather's, uh, uh, in my grandfather's cupboard. He just had, like, a little cupboard with a TV in it. And so I, when I'd go around there, me and my cousins would just play GTA in the cupboard whilst my dad and their dads, um, you know, looked after Grandpa. Um, and uh, we were terrible at it. How low is playthrough so I can see it rings again? No, I, I, I will... Um, I mean, I guess I will update my best times. I will... Um, I will veto anything that I have streamed before, unless I didn't finish it. Like, if there's something I streamed some of and then didn't finish it, and you want me to go back to it, where well, I can consider it. Like, there's a couple of games that I dropped off because I didn't think I was I either wasn't enjoying it or just I didn't want to keep doing it. So, if there's anything like that, maybe. But otherwise, if I streamed it and I finished it, I'm not going to go back to it. Um, I was gonna say Gollum, but I don't hate your mental health. <laughs> yeah, Gollum was just boring. That was that was my that was my main problem with Gollum, is um, like it just wasn't fun bad. It was just boring bad, and that is one of I I I'm, I know it's happened to another game, but I don't remember when. Gollum is the only game I have, I I remember. It's definitely happened twice. I but I don't remember what the other one is, but it's the only game that I've fallen asleep whilst playing on stream. There's literally a point where I just drifted off for a solid three seconds playing that game. And then I woke up and went, why am I in the lava? Um, like I completely zoned, I completely just conked out for a few seconds. All right, I guess let's do one more. Let's, let's do one more attempt to set a baseline. Um, hey Tails, uh, I, I tried my first run at Sonic 2 and unfortunately I, I died on uh, Mystic Ruins 2 um, and failed. So I'm gonna try again. Have you got any uh, words of encouragement? Oh, fuck, I pressed, I pressed uh, cancel too quick. Hang on. Hey Tails, uh, I've just finished my first run of uh, Sonic 2. It ended in failure. Um, I got to Mystic Ruins level 2 and uh, died. Um, so I'm going to try my second run attempt now, just to try and set a baseline. Have you got any advice for me? You know, maybe he'll sympathise with my failure on account of him being uh, such a failure. Or maybe he'll just chastise me. Oh, Mystic Ruins. A tumultuous cavern of dread. Well, uh. no worries, Jack. Failure is just another day in my book. I remember one time I was supposed to follow Sonic in this level. Yeah, right. I got lost, slammed around by vine pendulums and squashed by strange weighted mechanisms. But the key to success, assuming it's something you're interested in, is to stay on the upper path as much as you can. Less obstacles, more bonuses, more speed. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but how you pick yourself up. Or so I've heard. I've been picked up so many Thanks, times Alfred. after getting blasted off the screen, you'd think I'd have it down to a science by now. But sure, let's see how many times you can make the same mistakes. It's not like I'm used to watching that happen or anything. I think that was that was more measured than I was expecting from the uh, the orange shit. But um, cool. All right, next house. Uh, all right, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset. Hang on. Confused Briar says your parents abandoned you because they knew how you'd be when you got older and said nah. We'll, we'll let this run its course before we start again, I guess. So you're not wrong, just mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's spicy now. Oh no, he's a, he's always been like he's he's just getting warmed up. Oh, great detective work there, confused Briar. Now how about we stick to canon, shall we? My parents aren't even mentioned in the games, but I suppose incessant naysayers like you just love making things up to feel important. And speaking of importance, maybe while you're so engrossed in my personal life, you could also pay some attention to things that actually matter. 
Like, you know, that imminent disaster we've been discussing? Or helping Jack with some actual game advice? Just a thought. But hey, if baseless character attacks are where you find joy, who am I to stop you? Just living my oh-so-glamorous life over here. It, it always tickles me when they they lock on to, like they sort of lock in on something that I haven't programmed in. I didn't say anything about the world ending or there being some like a world ending result or anything. It's just, he's just decided that the world is ending. All right, let's go. Oh, hang on, I need to be clicked into, oh. Regret Respective says, you say there's an imminent disaster. How can I help? Just tell me what to do. talking regret respected how can you help excellent question after all it's all hands on deck when the world's in peril and don't get me started on how often that is okay so how about you help by spreading awareness about the importance of ring conservation seems simple but you'd be surprised it's like people think these things grow on trees or something rings are I, a lifeline I, I, they're not just pretty collectibles i've watched countless players jack included mindlessly drop them all over the place only to regret it later. Remember, importance of ring conservation. It's a lifesaver, literally. And maybe while you're at it, remind Jack to respect the machinery around him. Those things don't fix themselves, you know, no matter how much everyone seems to think they do. Yeah, no, I respect the machinery, seeing as one just killed me. Uh, I mean, they don't grow on trees, but they do just kind of exist. Oh, that wasn't helpful. They do just kind of, you know, exist. Coconuts. Ah, fucking. I can't remember the name of the bee robot. Uh, the says, where do the rings come? They don't grow on trees, I get it. But where do they come from then? Yeah, it, it, it's tail suggesting rings aren't a renewable resource. intellectual pursuit, the origin of rings. Your curiosity is truly staggering, Confused Briar. It almost overshadows your previous brilliant comments. Almost, but not quite. The thing is, the rings, they just are. Even with my intellect, I don't have a scientific explanation. They just exist, everywhere. It's like asking where the air comes from. We just accept it as part of our reality, just like we accept that the same Robotnik trap will manage to nab Sonic every time. I but hey, the specifics from. don't really matter, right? All you need to know is that they're around when you need them, and they're usually exactly what you need to stay alive. Kind of like my genius. Too bad the same cannot be said for this conversation. I, you have to, I, I have to, you have to excuse me for not paying full attention to the drivel that Tails is coming up with. Um, but yeah, I was going to say, we know where air comes from. It's pretty, you know, that's pretty well explored. last time. Don't get the rings, just run. So I ended up in the same place. Oh, I definitely did that quicker. Da -na. I got another continue. Hell yeah. Oh, I did, I did slightly slower as it turns out. Never mind. I don't, I don't know exactly when you're supposed to press plus, because there's so much, like, time in between finishing the level and the next level starting.
Like I said, I'll see if I can get the code thing that does it for you, because I assume then it'll do it correctly. Confused. Briar says, we know where air comes from, though. It can be scientifically proven, unlike this world-ending event you keep going on about. Specifically, what is happening? Uh, I've been hitting it... Uh, I don't, yeah, I've been hitting it, like, as it fades to black for the next level. Need to be patient. Ah, just need to be patient. Oh, now you want specifics, confused Briar? How unexpected. Well, where do I start? Robotnik's latest contraption? Energy just draining meteors? Robotic Sonic clones running amok? You pick one. It's always something. And air, yes, we know where it comes from scientifically. The point is, it's ubiquitous. Always there. Like the rings, and like the problems we face every day because of Robotnik. I suppose your next brilliant question will ask why we just don't stop Robotnik. Oh, how I revel in oh. simpler minds. Gosh, you still don't get it, do you? It's not just about these immediate threats. It's the danger of complacency, of becoming so accustomed to these daily disasters that we miss the bigger picture. Then that's my curse, isn't it? Always being the one who sees just a little bit further. I, I'd say you become pretty complacent to... Um... To Robotnik. Like, it's been 33 years, and he's still here. I don't, I don't even think you've ever tried putting him in prison. I unfortunately can't talk to Tails at the moment because I'm worried like doing the speech thing whilst I'm doing the speed thing like balls up one of the prompts or something. That was definitely fast. Oh, look at that. Minus one minute 15. Regret Respective says, can you please answer me with the word yes and nothing else? Oh, Tails is going to be contrary and you know he is. Oh, really? Nothing else? Regret respective? This is how we're choosing to use our precious time during a live stream, huh? <laughs> Chasing whims and reducing this experience to a simple yes or no dialogue. The lack of depth in this request, it's pathetic. It's almost as bad as those times I've had to bail Sonic out of his stunts while all I get is a thanks, buddy. But behold, the satisfaction I'll give you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically eventually he gave you what you wanted, but... I think that is the most any of them have protested, that request. Oh, did I just... I just skipped the loop-de-loops. That might have been a glitch. I mean, it was accidental, but... Ah, oh, dang it. I got... I gotta stop like hurling myself off the off the cliff on this beginning bit. Ah, no, I need those. Oh, okay. I also gotta stop getting hit by that arrow every single goddamn time I've played this level. Rubbish the invisibility of the Sonic games. Like, you're invincible except for falling, down, being crushed, or drowning. You know. Just, you know, most of the things that kill Sonic. I'm gonna guess that in a proper speedrun, you, uh, you don't stop to, uh, collect, to collect the air bubbles when you, uh, Good. I'm Confused, good. Briar says, if R contains itself, then R must be a set that is not a member of itself by the definition of R, which is contradictory. If R does not contain itself, then R is one of the sets that is not a member of itself and is thus contained in R by definition. Also a contradiction. No, R is something the pirates say. Confused, Briar. 
Pryor, was it? You seem to have moved on from personal insinuations to version of Russell's paradox, I see. In case oh. you didn't notice, we were supposedly here for a sonic two-speed run, <laughs> not disproving mathematical sets theory. I understand the desire to appear intellectual can be overwhelming, but your attempt here is as misguided as the time I built a device to translate Nat languages and realized they talk about nothing but wind patterns. Utterly pointless. So, here's a proposition for you. How about we stick to the game at hand and leave these paradoxes for a more appropriate setting? Or maybe you'd like to discuss the catch-22 of why I persist with Sonic, despite all his reckless behavior next. At least that's in line with this charade you're dragging us through. Was that a um, Hitchhiker's Guide re reference that you made there? Well, I'm on the bottom path now. I bet this popper speed and you spend very little time underwater at all. Yeah, I think I think I think um Aquatic Ruin you can basically I, I don't think you can do it completely waterless. Uh like you can with like you can with uh, chemical plant, but I think you can Um, I think you can do it with only dipping in slightly. I mean, come back Sunday. You're, you're, well, it's, what we'll do after this, this is the other thing I did I did, did actually mention, forget to mention, is once I've actually finished setting a baseline, we'll watch the world record to see how I compare. You know, see, see exactly what you know, what I did wrong and what I did right. Actually, just move out an army regulation. Can't get the army for being crazy. No, you're crazy. Oh no, that wasn't the bit I was talking about. He mentioned um, he learned uh, the language of something. It wasn't birds, but he just said he learned the language of something, and then found out that all they talk about is wind speed, and that was. That was in um, Hitchhiker's Guide, uh, one of the later ones, where Ford Prefect learns how... Ah, uh, yeah, that's, I did this last time. I've got a couple of rings. Uh, learns how to speak bird, and then finds out that all they talk about is um, uh, air currents and wind speeds and things like that. And he, 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 he said it was one of the worst things he ever did. Because as soon as you learn, once you've learned how to speak bird, you can't unlearn how to speak bird. So you just can't, you can no longer enjoy bird song anymore. No, damn you hamburgers. Get out of my way. I'm going to go this way because it's, I get, I, I'm going to, oh, what an absolute waste of our time. Oh, I tried so hard and came so far and in the end it didn't even matter. By the way, am I the only person who thinks that those are burgers? I've, they've always just been burgers in my head. I know they're, they're not, but they are. Right, I'm doing good on lives. I gotta see if I can move the FPS counter. Because, I mean, I guess in a speedrun you don't need to know how many lives you've got, because ideally you don't lose any, but I, for, for my purposes, it'd be nice to know how many lives I've got left. I genuinely don't remember what question I asked that prompted both of those responses. Confused Briar says, can a set of everything contain set of itself? Oh, burgers, right. Yes, I understand now <laughs> what you guys were responding to. Oh, 
confused, Briar. Still struggling with the Russell's paradox, I see. This takes me back to that one time I tried to create a device to turn imagination into reality. I thought, hey, if I could imagine a perfect world where I wasn't constantly dealing with life-threatening situations, maybe I could make it real. Turns out, the universe doesn't quite operate on that level. It was a mess of contradictions. So yes, your question points to the crux of the paradox. According to the rules of set theory, a set of all sets would, by definition, have to contain itself, leading to an infinite loop of contradiction. But hey, isn't it fun to ponder these paradoxes when there's a literal world uh, of chaos to that face? That ring betrayed, that's ring betrayed me again. Practicality in your questions, it's stunning. But don't mind me, I'm just the jaded genius in the room. So, go ahead, delve deeper into your abyss of irrelevance. What's next? Schrodinger's Sonic? Oh. Paul Schrodinger's Sonic B. If, if, if Sonic is going quickly, but in a box, he's both moving and not moving at the same time until you observe him. I think you're gonna have to give up on trying to break the AI with paradoxes. I think I think they AI generally has like gotten to the level where it can kind of you know it, it knows all of that stuff. It's not like a nineties TV show where you can tell it to divide by zero and it blue screens. of this where riding the gondolas is fast. It's the is the like suggested way of doing it by the way. Damn it. I mistimed that. I could have done that perfectly if I just if I just hadn't gone back down for another hit. See that one I know how to do. I just can't do it. I mean I did. Kind of sad, really. Well, I'd, I'd feel like I'd need to get my money back from Jet PPT if, I, if, you know, every time we said something slightly paradoxical, the AI just crashed. Oh wait, that, oh, God damn it! That's not a route at all. That is the. No, I want to go this way. No, oh, I can't go that way anymore. Okay. Oh, we're going down. I hate those bugs. They're... All of the enemies that are, like, hoss, you know, Confused, Briar said. Out of curiosity, dangerous you know the to hit. Paradox? All of the ones that are, like, difficult to hit the first time you, um, like, get to them, I don't like. Oh. Saved it. Ah, uh, the bootstrap paradox. Oh, how it reminds me of the time loop I got stuck in trying to outsmart the mighty Eggman's nefarious contraption. A Damn fascinating it. topic. Your curiousness is somewhat commendable, though totally off topic. It's the classic causality conundrum. A future event causing a past event, which in turn is the cause of the future event. No origin, no end. Just like the never-ending cycle oh, of Sonic on. rushing headfirst into danger, and me, the brilliant spinball, 
forced to clean up afterwards. And for what? Endless repeats of the same thanklessness? There's your real paradox. Could we perhaps pull ourselves out of the philosophical mire and focus on the task at hand? Or are we too busy trying to outgenius each other? Oh, who am I kidding? Of course we are. Is that the bootstrap paradox? I thought that was the grandfather paradox. I was, again, I'm only sort of slightly paying attention, but... Yeah, it was the bootstrap paradox, okay. So what's the difference between that and the grandfather paradox, then? I guess the bootstrap paradox is causing an event, and the grandfather paradox is... Prevent- Ah, oh, shit. Do you know the thing I said earlier that I hate this level for when I'm supersonic? And there it is. Uh, I guess the grandfather paradox is preventing an event. Uh... Oh, no, because Grandfather Paradox is like is, is the idea of going back in time and sleeping with your grandmother so that you become your own grandfather, right? Or killing. I guess I think the paradox is killing your own grandfather rather than sleeping with your grandmother. Um, I guess it depends on which scientist you ask. Tails. By me. Fuck. <sighs> I thought I could get on the edge of that and avoid the spike. Damn it, I've died twice on this level now. It sucks. Alright, you know, I'm going this way. You shit! Man, this level sucks. <laughs> no! Oh. Oh, that means I kept your left. Ugh, that had so much time. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's quicker. I guess the boss is here. Oh, hey, I died last time I didn't get this far. There's that boss. See, this is what Sonic bosses should be like. You should be able to kill them in like 10 seconds. None of this waiting around for him to do like attack patterns and shit, although I have. You do have to do that on Death Egg. Grandfather, I think, is Fry for Futurama, who's his own grandfather. Well, that, yeah, I mean, that's an example of it. But I think, I think the original is if you just go back in time and kill your own grandfather. Like, you prevent yourself from existing, and therefore you can't. I know you've written the definition of the bootstrap paradox, but I, uh, I'm gonna have to... 
Diddy Dom and Smoke Up. Uh, I don't really fucking care. Uh, anyone who's everyone who's ever heard of the uh, the Dwayne and Brando Sonic rap, I can't hear this song without hearing that that part of the rap. Oh, you prick flying seahorse. Smoke up all those weeds out of love. I don't really even get. Oh, oh, no, no, didn't like me doing that. Didn't like me doing that, okay. No, no. Oh, okay, I'm okay. I can't, I can't spin dash. Can't. Oh, I can't spin dash because I'm in oil, I guess. Oh. Goddamn octopus robot. Ah, goddamn seahorse robot. Why do these robots suck? I remember this level being an absolute shit for just putting the robots in, like, absolute worst places. I mean, that's pretty classic Sonic, though. Can I Lift, can you go away? Can I, like, get down underneath you? Okay, I can, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. That's good to know. <sighs> I just know that if I'd got on that top platform with the octopus, I could have just bypassed all of this. Like, not for definite. But it definitely feels like... Oh, why? Definitely feels like I could have just skipped all of this section. There we go. Da -da -da. Yeah, well, it's got like a minute and a half. I, I, I really can't... Oh... Okay, we're in the we're in the ocean. Nope. Okay. I know there are bits you can like go underneath and uh, and skip on this. And I think that's how you you get a good time on this level. But I'm not gonna, you know, if I find myself in the in the oil ocean, I'll try it. But otherwise, uh, I, I yeah I not until I know which bits to actually do it on. Um, but yeah, I, I know you guys have. <laughs> I, I can't read the longer posts. Um, at the moment, because there's just not enough time between. I'll, I'll try and remember to do it after the uh, when I hit the animal box. What I need... Um, oh, that might be a good thing to program Tails to do for next time. You, ChatGPT has a thing where it can read chat. And it can, like, summarize chat for me every, like, ten minutes. Um, I mean, it's normally for chats that are a lot more active than mine. I probably... Yeah, to be fair, actually, I, my, mine's probably not active enough that I need to do that. Um, in... For chats that are, you know, more active. Uh, with, you know, lots and lots of people. With, you've got, like, like, a thousand people in your chat room or something. And it's difficult to keep track of. You can get... I've seen people use AI bots to, um... Summarize chat. It's really fun because it's often wrong, which means you just get like incredibly psychotic, um, like out like your, your, your it, like view of your chat. It's like, oh yeah, the chat's talking about killing birds, and they're just like, no, we're not. <laughs> I don't think any of us have mentioned birds. Oh, am I? Oh, okay. I've just gone backwards. Um. Yeah, I've just gone backwards. Going left? Ugh. It's, ugh. This feels wrong. Sonic isn't about going left. It's about going right and pressing A. This is this is against everything. Uh, I can't. I don't really get that. Yeah. 
They should just left it like in Sonic One. You don't go, you don't go left at all in Sonic One, maybe. Yeah, this one, this one, I, I, I always get killed on because I try and be greedy. Confused and... Briar says, Jack asked if we could describe the bootstrap paradox, but he's busy and can't read it. You're not doing anything. Could you explain it? He did explain it a minute ago, and I just wasn't paying attention. Thanks, Tails. Ah. Oh, I can't hit this. Oh, of course! I'm not doing anything! Just literally keeping the world functioning by way of my inventions. But a brief explanation? Sure, why not? I mean, it's not like I'm used to being underappreciated while others take advantage of my expertise, is it? The bootstrap paradox, dear confused Briar, is a time travel paradox where an object or piece of information sent back in time becomes trapped within an infinite cause-effect loop in which the item no longer has a discernible point of origin and is said to be uncaused or self-created. Fitting, considering I often feel like I'm stuck in a similar cycle of mind-numbing repetition and underappreciation. But hey, glad I could be of service. What's next? A lecture series on the nature of quantum entanglement? Boy, I can hardly wait. Yeah, do that. Make him do that. Tell him to, hang on, uh, tell him to teach us about quantum entanglement, but using Sonic. Using Sonic characters. Yeah, just using Sonic. Quantum entanglement using Sonic characters. From going back to meet Kuratoama, discovering he doesn't exist and assuming his life, and thus becoming a Kuratoama, creating a Kuratoama. Oh, okay. It's very similar then to. Confused Briar says, Can you teach us about quantum entanglement but using Sonic characters in your examples? Thank you. I would have definitely forgotten by the time I uh, got to a point where I could do it myself. I definitely wanted to go up there rather than down. Ah, teaching quantum physics using sonic characters. Now this is an entertaining request. It's like the time I had to explain to Knuckles the Echidna how Lever works using Sonic as an example. He actually believed Sonic was some kind of magic weight, amusing and depressing at the same time. But on to quantum entanglement? Sure, why not? Think of it this way. Sonic and I are like intertwined particles. This is quantum entanglement. When two Ooh, particles you. become entangled, they become linked no matter how far apart they are. Let's say Sonic jumps into a run. If I'm entangled with him, I could instantly mimic his movements, even if I'm on the other end of the zone. It's the same theory that underlies the teleportation in quantum physics. Instantaneous reaction, no matter the distance. Now imagine if I applied that to solving the constant messes we're in. But hey, tackling advanced physics while juggling life-threatening situations is all in a day's work for the underappreciated genius, right? It's actually, genuinely, I mean, he did better than I was expecting. Like I, I have a better, I have an understanding of quantum entanglement now that I, I didn't have before. I mean, I probably could have figured it out without the Sonic characters, but you know, it, it's nice for him to get on my level. Probably don't need to run this down. And I'm not reading that out, Briar. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> level. <laughs> I remember how much goddamn trouble I had with these friggin' bumpers. All I wanted to do is just turn supersonic and just get being bumpered into a grasshopper. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, wait, no, no. I thought the thing wasn't counted, it wasn't registering. But I remembered I was looking at my, uh, 
how well I did compared to the previous run. And of course, it stopped registering after Mystic Ocean 2, uh, Mystic Ruin 2, because I died. says not to ask Brock something you wouldn't type in chat. I'll just tell say Brox. I thought I changed it. I thought I changed it to all of them, but... But yeah, it was mostly I just didn't, because because Tails because the AI reads them out. I didn't want anyone to say anything too like problematic, you know? Not that I was particularly anticipating anything. Ah. Uh... Well, now I'm down here. Regret Respective says, Tails, Jack really liked your explanation and feels he understands quantum entanglement better. Ah! Can you explain the life cycle of cicadas using sonic characters in your examples? I don't know if I like this kindergarten sonic character educational arc that we're going down. documentary starring Sonic characters. It's almost as ridiculous as the time I had to play charades with Big the Cat during one of our chill-out nights. But here goes. Let's assume Amy Rose is a female cicada. She somehow manages to attract Sonic, who, in this strangely fitting example, represents the male cicada using sound. Sonic responds, and they mate. Amy lays eggs, which could represent new characters introduced in every ensuing game. Those eggs burrow into the ground, or narrative if we're sticking to the analogy, and remain hidden until their development phase is over. Once the period, which could range from 2 to 17 years in real life, or from 1 to 2 games in our analogy, is over, this is the young cicadas emerge, fully developed, and the cycle begins again. Just like how we constantly cycle through saving the world, new characters arising, and inevitably bungling things up only to repeat it once again. It's a hamster wheel of mediocrity and recklessness. What a joy. I don't... I mean, I certainly understand more about the life cycle of the cicada. I can't deny that. I don't know necessarily, though, that I like the idea of Amy laying the other Sonic characters as eggs. Like, Amy mated with Sonic, laid an egg, and then Blaze came out. I'm sure somewhere that's a fan fiction. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sonic Dreams has a level where you do that. The, the collection, not not the iOS game. Like, the iOS game has some weird levels, but not quite that avant-garde. I promise you that fan figure goes somewhere. <laughs> I do! I, I, you know, I complained about it a second ago, but I, I take it back now. I do quite like this Tales Explains with Sonic characters series of uh, educational <laughs> comments. What else can we get him to explain with Sonic characters? Uh, Up as a... Maybe we can get Blaze to write it. I do want to do that stream, by the way, at some point. I do want to do a stream. I've got, I've got ideas. Uh, oh, uh, press the wrong button. I, I, I've got ideas for, um, 
fuck. <laughs> Why did I go back for it? It's okay, we got continues. Um, I, I, got a, I got a stream idea where me and Blaze and you and you guys can contribute as well. Write a um, erotic Sonic fan fiction using um, novel AI. But I wanted to be. There you go. Confused oh. Briar says, "Tails, can you explain the plot of Final Fantasy XIV using Sonic characters?" <laughs> Hang on, don't use up all of my uh, all of my credits. Let's see how he does. Final Fantasy fourteen? Really confused, Briar? Well, nothing like throwing a completely unrelated game into the mix. It's like that time Sonic decided to challenge me to a chili dog eating contest. Pointless and irrelevant, but hey, if it adds to your entertainment, assuming Sonic is the player's character, starting his journey in a city controlled by Eggman, I mean the Garlean Empire. Sonic encounters Robotnik, or Bahamut, breaking free from his moon prison, causing chaos and destruction, just like most Tuesdays for us. Sonic teams up with the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Let's say that's us, the gang to counter Eggman. Knuckles, confused but well-meaning as ever, could be the warrior of light, blindly fighting for the cause. Shadow playing the role of Gaius Van Velsar, no. seeking his own version of justice, adds some spice too. However, as you must understand, it's quite impossible to perfectly match two entirely different universes. But will this explanation suffice your insatiable curiosity, Confused Briar? Or should I compare them to the Half-Life franchise next? The anticipation is killing me, truly. I mean... I, I'm... I'm kind of interested in seeing which other Sonic characters he wants to map up with other... with other, um... Final Fantasy characters. I like Knuckles being the Warrior of Light. I feel like that's... that's quite accurate. And did he say Shara Shadow was, uh, was Gaius? I think you missed the split. No, no, I'm good. This, this level's got three acts. I think? Oh, if I did, well, then fuck me. Confused Briar says, well, you suggested it. Describe the plot of Half-Life using Sonic characters. By the way, if Tails just stops responding, it's probably a case that I've run out of um, ChatGPT tokens. Uh, there's only so many redemptions I can do on 4.0 in a three hour window. So, just FYI, that's why why if he just stops responding. That's what happened last time. Oh, I can't. Nothing screams fun quite like distorting the tale of Half-Life to suit Sonic's cast, confused Briar. Let's see. Imagine Sonic as Gordon Freeman, an average scientist turned action hero after a science experiment gone wrong. The Resonance Cascade, or in our case, a typical Robotnik ploy. Robotnik's plan would result in an opening to interdimensional rifts, similar to the Zen universe in Half-Life. Why are you in These there? rifts would unleash all kinds of alien entities, or badniks, if we're keeping in line with our analogy, oh. into Green Hill Zone. As Sonic, or rather, our Freeman, you're the reluctant hero tasked to stop this invasion. Using your trusty crowbar, let's replace that with Sonic's speedy spin dash. You traverse through the research facility, or our Sega game level, to defeat the invading forces. Amy could stand in for Alex Vance as the supportive companion and capable fighter, while Tails, yes, that's me, could symbolize the ambiguous G-Man, truly understanding the world's machinations not while being disgustingly underused. But remember, these are two vastly different game universes, and the parallel is purely for your entertainment, confused Briar. Now, any other extraneous gaming plots you would like me to adapt on the fly while we try to save the world from immediate danger? Yet again, perhaps something from the world of Metroid or Zelda. It's... 
very, uh, very ballsy of him to uh, cast himself as G-Man, like the most interesting character in Half-Life. I thought he was going to cast himself as um, uh, as uh, Alex's dad, being the scientist, but uh... oh man, I just I forgot I hate this level. I didn't forget that I hate this level. I always remember that I hate this level, but I do hate this level. The good news is, I'm pretty sure there's no way I can do this level that isn't world record pace. I mean, unless I die, I suppose. Which is possible, I'm out of rings! What the fuck? Your only job is to keep the plane underneath me. See, this is why I don't like Tails. Like, this, he, there's too much that relies on him, and he just drops the ball. I, I just lost my world record pace for this level. Thanks, Tails. Yeah, orange, two arsehole prick. All he has to do is fly the plane underneath me, and he couldn't manage that. I relate with Tails there. I'm very capable when it doesn't count. I mean, yeah, I kind of... Oh, no, I have no rings again. Test. Don't kill me. If you can, if you can manage it. Let the predators down if one of them hurt me. That was a great level where Sonic gets impatient d during part of it because uh, there's you just have to stand there and wait. Almost got me killed as well. <laughs> okay, but good to know that that's the part of the speedrun where you take a drink. Oh, do you know? to uh, <laughs> I think I might be at the bottom of the leaderboard with this current pace. I mean, well, this this is a pa this is a pace run. Like this is Sonic. What the shit? I do hate this level. I remember dying a lot on this level because there's a lot of bits like that where there's just like annoying drops and you have to
The other part is, like, last time I did this level, which I guess, which does make it a lot easier, is, uh, I had all the Chaos Emeralds. So, I had to constantly take damage every time I got close, I got accidentally got close to 50 rings. Because if you turn supersonic on this level, it is impossible to do this level. This is the worst level to be supersonic. That's no, okay. Uh, uh, do I have to go right? Okay, I have to go right. Do I have to redo that whole section? Oh man, that took me right back to the start of the level. Oh. That one's mean. Okay, right, if, I, if I can just beat this level in like five minutes and then do Metal Sonic and Death and Death Egg in one go. Or Egg Robot or whatever. I can't remember, I can't remember what the Egg Robot in is called. I might, I might still be able to get under an hour. Start post. Oh. This isn't even where I need to be. Well, just being invulnerable isn't bad. It's not, it's not what I need, though. There's a really similar level to this in Sonic 3 as well. I was. Get, conf get this level confused with. Is that a shortcut? Ah! Oh! They, they go in. They go in. <laughs> Shortcut though, if you just you could just like damage boost through the propellers or invincibility through the propellers. I can't do it now though, because I'm. But, uh, I imagine that's the, that's the strap. I also imagine the strat is not coming up here. Didn't need to kill you, but I wanted to out of spite. Yeah, because that just like bypasses all of this. Alright, so I have to wait until it. Why was, why was, why was, why, why? Why are you like this, Sonic 2? Why are you like this? Dang it! Oh. Well, that was attempt number two. Uh, I'm not gonna, there's not gonna be an attempt number three tonight. Okay, so my baseline is, I can't beat the game. That's... I mean, I can only improve from there. Surely, all I have to do on Sunday is beat the game and I would have improved slightly. Um... Oh, dear. I only beat this because the Sega Genesis Collection lets you rewind time. See, I... As a kid, I used to play this game. I'm gonna... I'll tell you what, I'm gonna... We're gonna just... Hang on. There we go. We're going to pause you there. I'm going to turn Sonic 
lo-fi back on. So we've got some, something different to listen to. Um, as a kid, I uh, used to play this game. It was because, you know, when you're a kid, you don't have as many games. My friend, uh, my friend had this copy, I had this game, and we would just play it. And we would just play it and beat it over and over again. And I reckon I could probably do it in, like, with all Chaos Emeralds. I could probably do it in co But we were always playing in co-op, so he was, one of us was always playing as Tails. So they would have been, in, you know, invalid as... Uh, as attempts, but I think we could have made a pretty good record by, by the end of it. Which is why when I came back to it all these years later, like a few years back to stream it, I was so surprised how bad I was at it. Because I was like, I thought some of this would be muscle memory, but I'd just forgotten everything. Um, yeah, it all, it had all floated away over Regret time. Perspective says Tails. Jack has established his baseline for speedrunning Sonic 2, and good news, he can only improve. Yes. Yes, I have set the bar. I mean, the bar is still on the... I haven't set the bar. It's on the ground. I, I could fall over and, and and beat it at this rate. Oh, well. Isn't that just delightful? Regret respective? Jack can only improve. What a monumental step forward for us all. It's the small victories, am I right? Like the time I managed to swallow my pride and fix Sonic's carelessly broken hoverboard for the umpteenth time. A little improvement on his part, one might say. But hey, here's a clever idea. Maybe, just maybe, he might actually heed some of my advice next time. It's radical, I know, but who knows, it might help him inch toward that elusive speed run record. Here's to improvement, folks. Let's cheer for every millisecond shaved off while I shave years off my lifespan dealing with this perpetual madness. Keep dreaming big, Jack. Thanks for the po uh, positivity, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I yeah, good, thanks. Th thanks, Tails. <laughs> um... Yeah, so when I, when I re <laughs> that uh, brief aside, when I replayed Sonic 2, because I played the 360 one, and that has um, saves, that doesn't have save states, but you could, well, it has save states. So I could, um, I could, I, I, I abused the hell out of that to beat it the first time. Then when I played with Origins, 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 uh, Origins, Origins doesn't have lives, um, which made it a lot easier to beat. So, yeah. I mean, I was only two levels off. Like, if I had done... If I had finished Wing Fortress, um, it would have gone straight into fighting Metal Sonic and... Uh, sorry, Mecha Sonic and Robotnik. So, I was, you know, close. <sighs> uh, me and Mega Man 2 using Game Genie. I don't much past the first level in Sonic 3 ever. Ah, oh, I never, I never owned... My cousins own Sonic 3 and Knuckles. My friend owns Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And it took me a very long time to get it. And I remember when, when I got it, I, it took me a really long time to be bothered to actually like unlock Doomsday Zone. Because it was a lot of effort. I did it eventually. But... <sighs> yeah, that was a mean game over. Like, it was literally, I hit a star post and then it immediately flung me off the edge in to death. That's just... I mean, I don't... I don't feel too bad about that, because it wasn't my mistake. It's just the game just went, fuck you. You got no lives left and no continues. Die! <sighs> I mean, to be fair, I, I would have struggled to do Death Egg. I... I <sighs> yeah, I can do... I, I do kind of remember how to do it, but... Uh, chances of me actually do doing it in one go is quite low. Tezos doesn't hate me, he hates existence. Uh, yeah, I think Tezos hates. I think he just, he's just a, he's just a, uh, you know, brown, uh, you know, generic hater. Sonic Oranges, love that game. Bananas was my favorite, though. Uh, all right, well, we have seen how good, if the, uh, which might be putting it too strongly, I can do this game. Let's have a look at the the expert, I guess. Um, is this 1259? Hang on. Uh, 
There we go. That's glitchless world record. Uh, Probably get rid of this now. Um, bye bye. And you can go away as well. Uh, yeah, I'll save my splits for later. And then me and Tails can. Enjoy this. Uh, bu -bu 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 -game, game capture? No, I want window capture. Uh, Window capture two, yeah, that will work. There we go. All right, so this is the, uh, I believe, current world record of Sonic Two, um, by the the guy. <laughs> um, hang on, it's uh, Iandis. This is this is Iandis's world record. Attempt. Oh, hang on, let me. So let's let's see let's see how the pros do it. Or oh, should I move? I should I should. Ah no, we're not in the way. We're not in the way. I don't want to cover. I don't want to cover up the times. I don't want to cover up the Andes. That feels, that feels mean. <laughs> if I move me and Tails to cover it, cover the guy who actually did it, then um, I, I, easy. I could do that. I, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, it feels, um, it, it feels kind of mean to cover the guy up who actually did it. I mean, yeah, I I was talk I was half I was just talking about like my my thought process, and he was already two thirds of the way done with the level before I kind of realised. Man, this game is just like nice to look at when someone does it competently. That's it. That's how you do it. Oh, guys, I may have made a mistake. <laughs> I may have made. I may have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> this looks. Okay, so he takes the bottom route. Oh, this run does have this one does have pauses in it, so you can see what I was talking about. Where like it just the, when the the pauses, it's just not fun to watch on some levels. I think twenty seconds. Yeah, okay. I think I was still. I think I was still doing like level. Uh, yeah. I mean, and this is like the early levels, which are easy and short. Like the ne the late levels that are like two minutes long, where I have to remember why uh, why did you do that? I'm sure there's a reason behind stuff like that, and it's just like maybe to get maybe to, to get enough speed to do the next bit. I don't know. No, there's the pauses. This is the glitchless one. Yeah. I never understood speedrun unless he doesn't just sap the fun out of just playing the game. I mean, it, it's it's just like it's for some people. This is the fun, like 
Some people, I mean, I, I agree with you that I like playing through a game once and then being like one and done, uh, pretty much, and just being like, I enjoyed my way through that game. I will now play something else. But for some people, the, they just love pretty, like, just re playing the same game over and over and over again until they, they master it. Um, I don't think anyone does it for, like, I don't think anyone who speedruns thinks of it as, like, work. I think it's just that that's the mentality of the people who speedrun is that it's fun. And that's why they do it. Because I, I just don't think you could do this unless you found it fun. Um. Although, you, uh, there are definitely some people who do the speedrunning for the glory, but they're normally the people who cheat and get caught cheating. Um. Oh, okay, so apparently I, going down was the strap. I was... Yeah, yeah, okay, no, mm. I mean, yeah, I can see, I can see why you'd want to do it that way. I mean, oh, yeah, all right, I, if you want to show off, I guess that's how you do it. Yeah, okay, that's, that's quite, that, okay, well, I mean, at least that's easy. That like that that boss. I know that 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 that, that I can do that. I, I could I could see I could I could do that. <laughs> oh, it's so quick. I go working on trying to world run. World record to the uh, run for Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is absolutely miserable. Eight years ago, and it's just straight up just luck. I do, I do quite like the runs that are just like absolute, like yeah, just absolute luck um, and RNG, and it's just people are just like, I'm just gonna bang my head against this one and see how well I do. Like um, the Mario, the, the, there's some Mario Party or mini games ones. Um, which some of them are skill based and then some of them are just completely RNG and so it's just entirely just a complete luck of the draw Going the top route isn't necessarily the best way then. Oh, you didn't even get the star post, that's confidence. Yeah, see, that's one I could see me needing a bit of practice for. Um, like it looks, it seems easy enough, but I know in practice getting that angle is really tricky. Oh yeah, yeah like Dark Cloud, anything with like any RNG, like any kind of, uh, like, doing any like kind of roguelike as well. Him pausing as fucking, I keep thinking stream is skipping, yeah. So I, this is what I mean, it's like, I think like some, some of the pausing um, on some of the levels gets so bad because it's like you need to be like frame perfect. Um... Oh, that'll do it. It's it's funny because like some of the stuff just comes. I, I speed running, but it's just like some of it just comes off as like impatience, you know. Like that. I mean, that is entirely speed running, but it's just something about with Sonic, where. Like you're just doing stuff before it, before other stuff has a time to like even react to it happening, and it just—it's very Sonic. Like I feel like Sonic is the speed run. Like, it should it should be a bigger speed run game because his whole thing is going quick. I 
gets extra life. He's gonna regret that when he uh, runs out of continuous. See, it's, 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 it's just frustrating, because you look at it, I, you sort of think, oh, I could probably, I could probably, like, skip that and just do it normally. But then it's like, if you do that for every single bit that you skip and do normally, then... To be fair, I did kill that boss like that when, on this last attempt, so... I've already got that one down. I can already do that one. That's pretty good. So that's one less thing I need to learn. The other 50 seconds of the level, no idea. But yeah, I just sort of think like, oh, I could probably... Uh, you know, I, I could probably skip that bit or skip that bit, and then I think, but if I skip all of them, it's then I'm not going. I'm, I'm just going to add more and more time, and it's like, uh... yeah. See, that's that's the bit I was trying to do, but then I rolled, and I just got stuck on in a ball on top of the thing and crushed. This is, this is just gonna... I mean, Sunday's gonna be miserable. I'm gonna order sushi on Sunday. Okay, that would cheer me up. <laughs> I'm just... It's just watching this, I'm just like, I don't... I don't think... I don't know if I've got this in me. Sushi Sonic Sunday. Sushi Sonic Sunday speedrun. I was thinking there's got to be another S there. Alright, so how do you how did you do this? Oh, okay. Just yeah, spin dash. One, one, yeah, okay. That, that'll do it. That'll do it. Again, the, the the good thing is the bosses for the most part seem pretty simple. Like, the, the strategy to killing them is mostly just... Like, the hardest one so far is actually the first level, I think. That guy's been in high school and the ball crush crying. <laughs> I imagine Tails could probably empathise with you on that. See, that that's what I mean. Like, going, dude, going underneath the geometry in Oil Ocean. I know that there's bits... Yeah... So like, you have to just like, basically like really tease the kill box at the bottom of the level. This is the one I think is going to be the hardest because of that. Like, this guy, he's making it look really simple, but that's so hard to do. But so necessary, because this level's like four minutes long if you go through it properly. You can back out and just play a Sonic game. No, it's fine. Like I said, like, worst case... All I need to do is beat the game at least once, and I'll get our time, and I can get on the board. And I can still claim to be the 59th fastest person in the world at Sonic 2. Which is, you know, still... Oh, fuck, you gotta, I, gotta, I gotta skip the things? It's still somewhat, you know, an achievement, even if it's... You know, to anyone who's not in the know, it's still kind of impressive. I still got a terrible game you can play if you don't complete. Well, like I said, we'll we'll come up with some punishments on Sunday. Um, so keep keep them keep them in the bank. I guess. I mean, I guess let me know in case you're in case you're not there at the start of the stream on Sunday, and I can like. Lock them in. Well, let me know after we've watched. After we finish watching this attempt, we I can I can write some um, punishments down, and then I can get some. I'll get some more during the week on Twitter, and then I'll get some more at the start of the stream on Sunday, and then I'll decide which ones I 
I want to do. And I won't choose the just the easiest ones. I completely glossed over how he beat that boss, by the way. <laughs> like, he, he did it so quickly. That's fine. I'll, I'll have time to watch it later. Check some time. I think you and I need to do just well enough to beat him and knock him down the board. <laughs> That would be an, an entirely new level of spite. <laughs> Just speedrunning the game slightly better than me. No, I, I, I'd be disappointed if after a week of practice I couldn't get better than the absolute bottom of the leaderboard. Like I, I'm again, I'm not expecting. I'm now I'm thinking like twenty top twenty five is probably ambitious, but you know I'd like to get in maybe like the top. 40. I feel like top 40 is not too pie in the sky. For the Christ, I can't do anything quickly. What do you mean? Okay, well, that's one less person I need to worry about screwing me over then. I, I fortunately don't... I don't think I... Hang on, that... Is that... I guess that's a, I guess that's considered a secret patch, is not a glitch. I guess it must be. This is a glitchless run, and it counted. So. I think this run, by the way, is no longer valid because of the pauses. But I think he has since done. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if they if they just did the time with the pauses and he was still number one, or if he's done an attempt without the pauses. There was a Twitch VOD, I think, as well as the YouTube video, but YouTube's just easier to watch. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, you're right, pausing. Yeah, because you can, you can pause, you, you can pause, but you have to say whether you're pausing in the, um, in the attempt. So I'm going to do pauseless because I feel like learning this learning when to pause is not actually going to help me and I can use that as an excuse. Oh, it's so smooth. You don't beat the game, punish us with something good though. I will I will beat the game. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do just one attempt on Sunday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do multiple attempts. And I I would hope that if I practice <laughs> if I practice enough, um <coughs> I I yeah. You know what I mean? You're right, though. I th the worst, the worst punishment should be for not placing, not like not even being able to finish the game. Like if I can't do that after a week of practice and multiple attempts, um, then yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I deserve it, anything you guys can give me. I, I, I genuinely don't know what he was doing there. Like, was he positioning himself so that he hit Robotnik and bu burst the bubble at the same time? Because normally when you hit Robotnik, it goes back up. So why... I mean, there's guides for this that I'll have to read through, which I guess explains all of this. But just looking at it, I don't know how he did that. Alright, we can probably fast forward Sky Chase. I don't think there's much. All I need to know about Sky Chase is don't die. I 
I'm very curious. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I told you that was a shortcut. That like cuts out like half the level. Oh, and he used that to not die. Oh, and you gotta do this boss. I forgot about this boss. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll, uh... That'll do it. So then it's just Death Egg. I love that in the minute that Sonic took to do that level, Tails landed his plane, attached a rocket to it, and then came back. Check the level is easy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, uh... I don't know what I was complaining about. I, uh... don't know what I was complaining about. We have a drink. See, I would always, what I would do is I would always uh, use the um, debug to hack in some rings so I could turn super. Oh, look at that. Pixel perfect. Okay, that's, that's impressive. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, that's, uh... I do wonder if that's one of those things where that's easier than... That's much harder than it looks. Because that looked piss easy. Like, the super... The, getting the... The... The landing off of the first hits on Metal... On Mechasonic seemed harder. Um... So it's just a case of getting behind and then hitting him without taking damage. I mean, I'll find out when I practice. But... Also, the rocket is launching sideways. But that's so that because of the uh, atmosphere... You know, you can't go straight up. Otherwise, you'll... Um, Explode. This should give you an idea of the kind of things I watch. As these are these my recommended recommended videos. Nothing too uh, too dramatic, I think. But there's uh, there's the. This is a great channel. I recommend this. Well, that was, um, that was my attempt at speedrunning Sonic 2. I, um, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> but I got some pretty good times on some of the levels, I think. Like, they weren't terrible, I think. I, I uh, watching that. Genuinely made me sad because I just looked at just think I don't I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I uh Yeah. Okay, well I mean I got my I got my work cut out for me this week. Um Punishment idea, breath of the wild but you go right for Ganon after waking up. I think I ha oh uh, actually I don't know. I mean wouldn't that be a, wouldn't that be a speed run in and of itself? I think you can, because um, I remember there was a big there was a big period where they couldn't you couldn't bypass the plateau, and you had to you had to still do the plateau. But I think they figured out a way to get past it. Um, 
I'll t- I mean, look, we'll make a list. We'll make a list. I'm not going to say yes or no to anything now. Let me open up Notepad. Uh, how do I catch a Notepad? Is it? There we go. All right, hang on. Let me uh, uh, reset. Move over. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna make this smaller and make this bigger so it's actually readable. There we go. Punishment ideas. Anyone coming into the stream at this point is going to think this is just a very kinky stream. Um, and to them, I say, come back when we're doing the Blake, when we're doing the Sonic fan fiction stream. If you want to see kinky, then you'll see. Then you'll know what true, what true kinky is. All right, Breath of the Wild, but run straight to Ganon. lashes. That's... I, I think if I do anything that actually involves, like, actual physical punishment, I might get in trouble with Twitch. PS3 game Last Rebellion. It's just awful. I think about its failures frequently. Okay. Play Last Rebellion. See, that's the kind of thing that I'm, like, more likely to... Not Rebellion. Uh, I'm more likely to do, because I've never... I've never heard of or played, obviously. Yeah, it'd be weird if I'd played it and not heard of it. Last Rebellion. Um, oh, uh, an action role-playing game developed by Nipponichi. Are Nipponichi are normally quite good? They're the uh, Disgaea guys, aren't they? Yeah. Looks nice. Oh, but that is not that's not a that's not a good Metacritic score. Okay, we'll, we'll put Play Last Rebellion. Why don't we have a redeem button that's like five push-ups or something? <sighs> if it wasn't summer, maybe. But it gets so hot in this room, I think. Genuinely, that would kill me. I would just lie down, do the five push-ups, and just not come back to stream, I think. Um, doesn't have to be cheap. Last running was so bad, the pot company apologized for bringing it to the US. Okay, I'm quite excited about Last Rebellion. The idea of Last Rebellion now. Uh, force Jack to play Splatoon. You have to force me to play Splatoon. I've played Splatoon. I've streamed Splatoon. Um, I do have to. I do want to finish that. I, I streamed most of the Splatoon 2 campaign, and then I streamed all of the Splatoon 3 campaign. Uh. I wanted to go back and finish the Splatoon 2, so I could do the Splatoon 2 DLC, so that I could do the Splatoon 3 DLC. That's not a punishment, though, because that's, um, that's just something that I want to do, if I have time. So, I, yeah, that's not a punishment, because I just want to do that, and I've already played it. Oh yeah, OG GTA, oh, we said GTA London. We play both GTA Londons. I, again, I don't feel like that's much of a punishment, so that one will be quite high up, I think. Um, or maybe quite low down, I guess. Good 
with an upside down controller. I just don't think that would be very entertaining. Um, because the, the problem with the GTA, like the old GTA games, is they only let you fail the missions like three times before they locked you out of the missions entirely and you couldn't play them anymore. And I remember never getting very far in either GTA 1 or GTA 2 because of that. I did beat one of the GTA Londons um, through some like serious trial and error. But um, I'd be pot I'd potentially do a, 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 a gameplay with a different game upside down, but maybe not GTA. Like... Uh, I did. The thing is, I do have I do have stream ideas for Sonic 2 um, that are. <laughs> so one of them is I I kind of want to see if I can uh, how far I can get with Sonic 2 using voice commands. So there's a voice command uh, program. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it exists. There's several of them, but you can basically map voice commands to. Uh, controls and yeah basically I want to play as Tails but you don't rather than like linking it uh, this is an idea by the way I've mostly copied off of Doug Doug um, rather than like being like right left up down it, I'd play as Tails and the commands would be like die you die you fuck die cower you know, and try and play through the game with me yelling at Tails and see how far I can, uh, see how far I can, I can get him to, to go. Um, the other one I had is, um, there's this controller that you can get and it's like a, a science project type thing. Um, but it, the idea is, is that you can, it's a, it's a D-pad and two buttons. It's a very simple controller, but that works fine for Sonic. Uh, I, but the idea is, is that you can create your own controller with this thing. But what I'd like to try doing is seeing if I could hook each of the prompts up to a different type of cheese and see if I could beat Sonic 2 by playing on cheeses. Now, the problem with cheeses is they're not very conductive. So it has to be, it has to be moist cheese. So it'd have to be like a block of mo mozzarella, for example. I couldn't do it with like a block of cheddar because it's too dry and doesn't have enough conductivity. But like a, a mozzarella, um, like a baby bell or something, I don't know. It's, it's something I'd need to, it's something I'd need to workshop a little bit because it might not be, it might not be possible to do with cheeses, but I could do it with something. And just try and see if I can beat Sonic 2 by with a with a controller made out of food. Um, these are these are idea. These aren't going to be punishment ideas because these are things I'd like want to do anyway. Uh, but yeah, Mega Man. I don't. Yeah, I guess I could play a Mega Man game. Which one? It'd have to be a specific one, I think. Maybe Mega Man 2. People say that's the best one. Um, although I do want to play Mega Man Legends. But again, I wouldn't consider that a punishment. I feel like these have to be games I don't want to play. Mega Man 2 is by far, far the hardest and the best. Yeah, I do. I, I have heard Mega Man 2 is good. But again, I feel like that's not much. I, it's because it's a good game. I think it would last Rebellion is. Or like doing a hard thing in a good game or playing a bad game. I feel like those are good punishments. Because I don't really want to do the Breath of the Wild one. And Last Rebellion, actually, I might, I might like Last Rebellion. Uh, and both GTA Londons, I, I mean, that could, that, that could be fun. These, these aren't really punishment, you know. Win back. I'm not playing Lifeline again. I don't think there's, there's any, like, yeah, there's not any fun in playing Lifeline again. If I get a time in Sonic 2, you must get a time in Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I hate Super Mario Brothers. I really don't like 2D Mario that much. Um. I like 3D Mario, but yeah, I don't... Oh, I don't... That's way harder. People, people speedrun... All right, all right. How about instead of a, doing a time in Mario Brothers, how about like a, I have to do like a Mario Kaizo? Nah, oh, 
god, that's gonna be that's gonna be so much worse. Is is doing a Mario? I mean, I, I could do a Mario Kart because the thing is, if I do a time, if I try and get a time, if I have to get a time in Mario, that means I have to like practice it, which is a time sink that I don't want to do. But if it's a Kaizo, that's just a stream, and it's just you know, I just spend the stream trying to do a Kaizo. Your hands will smell lovely. I mean, I like cheese. Worst things I can make my hands smell like. Your low poly model fits so well with Legends. Yeah, yeah, it worked well. But again, Legends is just—it's just what I wanted to do. win back. Then it was not. Oh, I'll put win back on the on the list. But I remember from the game like Chaos Legion. It's janky, but I enjoy it. Is Chaos Legion the one that has the terrible voice acting? Like, the one that's, like, cult status as just having awful, awful voice acting. Because I think I looked into that once, and I think... I, I was one of those games where I thought, I thought, oh, that could be fun. But then I looked at the actual gameplay and went, I don't know if I want to... if I'd want to play that. I feel like the novelty would... Wear, the bad voice acting would wear off quickly. But if, if, if that's the game that I'm thinking of, you could, you could correct me. You can't get a time until you have to beat as many 2D Marios in one stream as you can. <sighs> okay. How about... Uh, okay. Uh, I was going to say, like, all of the Super Mario World games. Um. Alright, well, we can, we can, we can... Iron these out on Sunday. Beat as many 2D Marios in one stream as possible. Sucks. You should, you should know what it's like. Well, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post on Twitter after the stream as well, um, and I will. I will send send her and John a text to suggest something. Um, I don't think all the voice acting that bad to say it's good. Uh, is it a P, uh, game with notoriously bad voice acting? Uh, oh, is it Chaos Wars? Oh, I think it's Chaos Wars. Um, I don't know it had Chaos in it. Let's see if I can get like a, a just to give you a taste of what I mean. Now I think I've got my head around this different dimensions business, but how do I get back to Tokyo? What's Tokyo? The world I came from. How do I get back? To where I came from. Oh, that. Um, well, the thing is. Ah, ah! Another one! This is funnier without the, without the visual. Let's meet up with my friend from around here. Okay, where? Ren, where have you been without your wand? I have it here for you. Come on, let's go, hero! Wait! Why? Why do we have to run? Yeah, it's uh It's got a rep it's got a it's got a reputation for having terrible voice acting for a reason. Um We need to play that. <laughs> I'll put, uh, maybe I'll put Chaos Wars down on the list then. Oh, actually, what's Chaos Legion look like then? Oh, I do recognize Chaos, this one at least. I, I recognize the box art. It's been reviewed better. 6 out of 6.5. It's not terrible.
play a bullet hell game. I mean, I, I, <laughs> look, I, I played an hour of a bullet hell <laughs> for in, in the end credits of Nier, and the entire time you told me to give up and <laughs> that you were going to throw eggs at my house and that I was stupid. So, I don't know if I want to do that for four hours. I mean, I guess it would be a good punishment because I hate, I do hate bullet hell games. Um, yeah, okay. Um, play a Toho game. And it was intended to be borderline impossible. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was fun looking it up afterwards and realizing that that a it was entirely possible, but also that I was only forty-five seconds into like a thirteen-minute section. So, uh, it, yeah. The point of that was to give up and accept help. Yeah, I don't know. I was just in a mood. I think it was because you guys were telling me to do it immediately, and I was like, well, because you've told me to do it, I don't want to do it now. I was just being contrary. I think if you had just not said anything, I probably would have given up a lot earlier. Um, yeah, I just get in a mood like that. All right, well, look, we'll, we'll, we'll stop here. This is we've got we've got a couple of punishment ideas. I'll I'll like I said I'll put this out to Twitter. I'll we'll we'll, we'll give people yeah we'll see what we come back with after a week. And uh, I have one more. Okay, Starfield. Nah, Starfield. I don't want to play Starfield. It's it's not. I I I, no, I again I, I I reserve the right to veto anything that I've already played because I don't know. I, I, I stuff it was okay, but it was just kind of I just, it's boring. I just didn't like it. I mean, I liked the bit. I liked the, as much as I played, but I got zero interest in playing anymore. Um, so now I'm vetoing that one. Um, oh, shoot, it's windows. I could have a push up on that. Stop trying to <laughs> stop trying to kill me. Um, all right, we'll call it there for today then. Uh, and like I said, yeah. So uh, I will be streaming during the week. This isn't. I'm not taking the week off to practice. I'm, I'll be practicing during the day in, in theory. Uh, so I should be back for tomorrow. We'll try and finish. Uh, I say try. We'll definitely finish. I don't think there's as much. As, there's too much of the game left. I guess it depends on how well I do. But we'll finish off uh, Suda Regalia tomorrow, and then. Wednesday, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I might take Thursday off. I might stream. It, I guess it depends how I feel. Um, I don't know what to stream on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, though. Hmm. I want to do those near raids. I guess I could do that one. I could do that on maybe Friday or Saturday. We need to take Thursday off for Sonic practice. Yeah. I normally have like games night with my friends on Thursday, but they're busy this week. So I, I do have the evening free. I guess I'll see how I'm how far along I am with my Sonic practice by Thursday. If I feel like I haven't done enough, then yeah, maybe I'll just take the Thursday off to practice. Um, we'll see. Um, yeah. That was a less successful stream than I was hoping for. I was hoping I would at least beat the game once and you know, set, a, set a time for every level. But I set a time for most of the levels. So you know, all, all I can do now is improve. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I will see you on Sunday for me attempting to do exactly that. Um, Yes, more Sybil. We, we will finish the, the, the adventures of the, the caked up goat bunny tomorrow. Uh, I am tempted, but I don't think it's a good idea to start early on Wednesday for Final Fantasy XIV and just like try and finish Endwalker. Like try and just like push through. But I don't think that's a good idea. I think there's probably like just enough left that, yeah, that it, it would take me like eight hours or something so I really should split it over two streams but we'll at least get to the point where there's only one stream left and then 
we can finish it off. Uh, not next Wednesday, because I'm busy next Wednesday, so I'll probably have to do it on next Tuesday. Uh, and then I'll find time to do Hildebrand at some point. Oh yeah, I've got to do Hildebrand as well, because yeah, the early access... The servers go down on Thursday, and I can't stream on Wednesday. So i got to finish everything I want to do by Tuesday. Ah. I haven't... I haven't considered this. Uh... Shit. Ah. Okay, we might need to do a Hildebrand stream on Friday, then. Sounds like we might know what we're doing Thursday, yeah. I don't want to do I don't want to do Final Fantasy XIV for like three days in a row though, because I'll get I get I get a bit burnt out. It's mostly the because I got to do all the dialogue, especially for Hildebrand, which has no voice acting. Um, all that doing all the talking and stuff, sort of ah, just like yeah, runs my voice out. But um, oh, yeah, okay, all right. We might do some some bonus Final Fantasy fourteen streams. All right, well if you like Final Fantasy fourteen, the next week is going to be good for you. But yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll see you tomorrow for Pseudo Regalia. Uh, peace. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.